it just seems like everywhere you go, you can drive past a golf course and all of them are really nice. So it can be tricky when people come here to figure out where they should play or where they should go. Um, but yeah, I just think the Valley has become this really special area. If you're coming to Phoenix and you want to play golf somewhere, and they're not just the basic ones that everybody's going to be going to, they're, I don't know about hidden gems, but they're just a little less well known. And I think they're really great golf courses for what they offer. Whirlwind is my home course, so I've been based out of here for almost two and a half years now. So I'm a little bit biased, but I will say that it is one of the best experiences that you can have in Phoenix. Um, a lot of people tend to stick around in Scottsdale and play the courses that everybody knows or that come up on Google first, but Whirlwind is really a special place. They have 36 holes. Um, they've hosted a ton of really great professional events. They hosted the Let Them Play Barstool Classic a couple of years ago. Um, so the layout is awesome. The experience of coming to Whirlwind and the way that the people treat you just from the second you get out of your car to when you leave is top tier. And uh, the conditions are always really great out here. My favorite thing about Whirlwind is, this sounds weird, but the practice facilities are just a professional golfer's dream. They have three putting greens, they're all massive, they have wonderful wedge chipping area, they have grass turf that's always perfect. So it's a little bit weird, but I absolutely love coming out here and hitting balls on this range. Aguila is one of my favorites because a lot of people when they hear Muni course they think that maybe it's not as nice or it's not as long but Aguila is you wouldn't believe that it's a Muni course when you go it is city owned which is awesome but it's beautiful it's always perfectly conditioned it's a great deal if you're looking to play golf in this area and my favorite part about it is they have this little par 3 course and I think it's under 20 bucks to play as many times as you want in a day. And the Bermuda greens are always great, so I can't say enough good stuff about Gila. The par three course is like how I would start the day. If you're going to come and play, maybe visiting Phoenix or something, start the day out at the par three course. And then there's, I wanna say 17 is a reachable par four. That's this really great challenge. You have to either go for it or kind of lay back and play it safe. And it's just beautiful. Southern Dunes is a little different because it is pretty well known, I would say, but not a lot of people make the drive all the way out there. I think it's about probably 30 minutes, 35 minutes from the Phoenix airport, um, but the layout is just this unbelievable challenge. So it's beautiful, obviously. Um, it's a Freddie Couples design, but it's just this super rewarding and super challenging layout. So it kind of forces you to hit these shots that not a lot of courses will and it really tests your game, it's really fun. I have secured my best status so far that I've ever had on the Epson Tour. I'm hoping to play as full of a season as I can on that tour, so my goal is, I just, I have a lot to learn. I don't have a ton of experience on like a top level tour like that, so I wanna take it all in, learn as much as I can, and then obviously keep my card for the next year. I think a lot of people don't know how much it costs. Um, at my level, I think people assume that sponsors cover everything, and a lot of it is covered out of our own pocket. Most of it is. Um, and I think a lot of people would assume that the purses at these tournaments are huge, like we're playing for a million dollars, but I'm not at the top level yet, so we're playing for more like 250,000 as a whole purse, which is, sounds like a lot of money, but when it costs you $50,000 in a year to do your job, things can get pretty tight. So I think a lot of people um, would be surprised to know that. I did have a hole-in-one in a professional golf tournament a few months ago. Um, I was playing on the Women's All Pro Tour in Oklahoma and I had played not well the first two days and I was looking for something to like get some momentum and I went birdie, par, birdie. I almost chipped in for birdie on that hole and then I had a hole-in-one on the next hole. So I ended up having a great round to finish off the tournament. That was really fun. I'm very lucky to be based out of Whirlwind as a pro because this is a course that really allows me to get my game in shape. It's, it's an amazing place to come back to. It lets me practice every part of my game that I need to. And uh, I don't get to be here as much as I would like because I'm traveling a lot. So um, I'm very lucky to be out here and professional golf is just, I'm still early in my career and I'm still getting used to all of it, but it's been awesome so far. Everybody says, should I keep my head down and don't. Don't do that, you're gonna break your neck or something. I would say um, positivity on the golf course goes a long way. That's something that even now as a pro, I still have to work on is staying positive and keeping a good mindset, not letting it ruffle your feathers a little bit. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow Arizona's top stories and breaking news by downloading the 12 News app and subscribing to the 12 News YouTube channel.